For years, scientists have examined the possibilities of finding life on other worlds, especially Mars. And now, experts have confirmed the presence of three more lakes on the Red Planet. New research published on Monday in the journal Nature Astronomy confirmed the presence of one saltwater lake, which was discovered two years ago, and also uncovered three other lakes hidden under the surface of Mars. The discovery was made using radar data from the European Space Agency's ESA orbiting Mars Express probe. The studies suggest that these lakes are dispersed over nearly 75,000 square kilometers, which is roughly one-fifth the size of Germany. The largest, Central Lake stretches 30 miles wide and is bordered by three small lakes. Meanwhile, the water is supposed to be exceedingly salty in order for it to remain liquid at frigid temperatures. Notably, water bodies with salt content five times over seawater can maintain life. But if the salt content is 20 times over Earth salt water levels, life cannot live in such water bodies. It follows the identification of a solitary underground lake in the same location in 2018, which, if verified, would be the first body of liquid water ever identified on the Red Planet and a prospective habitat for life, scientists claim that a lake would considerably boost the possibility that Mars might have microscopic life of its own and these findings could be vital in the quest for alien life on the planet. Mars was previously warmer and wetter with water flowing across the surface much like early Earth. While it is not conceivable for water to remain stable on the surface today, the new result opens the potential that an extensive system of ancient lakes might persist underground, perhaps millions or even billions of years old. They would be great areas to hunt for evidence of life on Mars, albeit very difficult to reach. The researcher stated, however, not everyone is on board with the theory, and many researchers claimed they required more proof to support the assertion. Astronautic missions to the stars, discoveries in the unknown, and questions about our own existence are all possibilities. If any of these intrigue you, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and continue your exploration of the vastness of the universe. The identification of three lakes is an extrapolation of the earlier findings in the preceding region which led to what's being dubbed as the Central Lake. It was located in 2018, making the first liquid water body ever detected on Mars, which could also suggest there is potential scope of life on the planet. The research, however, emphasized that the finding was based on just 29 observations made from 2012 to 2015. As contrast to that, the new study takes into consideration larger data signifiers, taking into account 134 observations between 2012 and 2019. Scientists also anticipate that the salt concentration in any Martian lake will be over the roof. According to Petnelli, from a thermal point of view, it has to be salty. Water bodies with salt concentration five times over salt water can sustain life. But if the salt concentration is 20 times over Earth seawater levels, life cannot thrive in such water bodies. The newspaper claimed while quoting John Prisku, an environmental expert from the Montana State University. The presence of the Martian lakes themselves is also still questioned. After the 2018 findings, experts voiced concerns such as the lack of an appropriate heat source to transform the ice into water. And although the latest study supports the 2018 observation and contains far more data, Data. Not everyone is sure that the discovered spots are liquid water. If the brilliant substance really is liquid water, I think it's more likely to represent some form of slush or sludge, says Mike Sori, a planetary geophysicist at Purdue University in West Lafayette, Indiana. Jack Holt, a planetary scientist at the University of Arizona in Tucson, says that although he thinks the current data are acceptable, he isn't sure about the interpretation. I do not think there are leaks, adds Holt, who is on the science team for the Mars Shallow Radar Sounder, Sharad, on NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. There is not enough heat movement to support a brine here, even under the ice cap. A Chinese expedition that is on its way to Mars might give one opportunity to check the allegations. The Tianwen-1 mission will reach orbit in February 2021, and as well as sending a rover onto the surface, the orbiter will carry a suite of scientific instruments. These include radar devices that could be used to make comparable observations. Its capabilities are akin to Mars's and Sherrod, explains David Flannery from the Queensland University of Technology in Brisbane, Australia. For the time being, the thought that these lakes are vestiges of Mars's wet past remains an exciting possibility. There may have been a lot of water on Mars, says Petnelli, and if there was water, there existed the chance of life.
Thanks for watching and we'd love to keep you updated on all our future videos. So hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to be a part of our YouTube family.